Hello everyone, welcome to this video on how to get free magazine subscriptions. I will warn you that this video is pretty long, it's about 20 minutes or so. Um, basically what I decided to do is put time markers in the bottom of this description so that you can pick and choose where you want to go, just in case you want to watch this in more than one setting. So basically the pictures you're seeing are taken by me, and it's just some of the magazines that I've gotten free over the past, I think, four or five months. Um, the rest I am either waiting on um, or I've gotten already since I took the photos for this video. So if you would like to see how to get magazines like this, then please keep watching. Okay, so to get started, I'm doing two separate categories. So the first category is going to be sites that not necessarily, um, like they don't actually give you the free magazines. They provide the links for the free magazines that take you to other websites. So I'm going to show you those first. There are three of those. And then I'm going to show you the actual websites that they send you to. So basically this first one is Swagbucks. And if you haven't heard of Swagbucks, um, basically it's kind of like an Ebates, if you know what Ebates are, where you do, but it, it, it's more, I guess, categories and more opportunities to get the points. So you can shop and get points for the dollars you spend. Um, you can watch videos to get points, answer questions, surveys, um, you know, sign up for things, play games. It just has a lot of different opportunities for you to get points. And as you can see right now, I have 759 points, and that's mainly because I buy my pet food through Swagbucks, um, through PetSmart. Um, but that is a whole different video. This one's about magazines, so if you want to know about that, then look out for a future video that I plan to do really soon on how to use Swagbucks. So first, in Swagbucks, if you go to Discover, and then over here, Free Offers. So you'll have to kind of like, and it might be signups too, but you have to kind of look and scam, scam, scam <laughs> the different offers. And so luckily I found that when I was skimming this one, that they actually, if you keep scrolling to the bottom, here goes one right here, free magazines. So basically for this one, if you hover over it, it says see if you qualify for free magazines or an up, up to 150 swag bucks. So if you click on that, it takes you to this site and basically saying sign up today and earn 50 swag bucks per title up to 150 so basically that means you can get three so here it has a bunch of different magazines that you might want um, one thing I will say is just because you see it on here doesn't mean it's still available I've had plenty of times where I try to get a magazine and it said it's sold out by the time I get to it so don't be shocked and so you just skim through and um let me see one that I don't have. So, let's see. I think I have most of these. Okay, let's do Food Network. Let's see if that one's available. So if you click on it, okay, so get, get a free issue of Food Network magazine. So this one, I'm not sure. It says a free issue, so I'm not sure if it's, a whole year's worth most of them are um i've gotten two issues i've gotten six i've gotten 12 i've gotten two years so each one kind of varies so what you do is you put in your information here i have my information saved so that's why it's automatically on here and one thing i will say about the email address is i personally have a separate email address that i use to sign up for everything so even if i'm like signing up for you know my pet smart account or fandango and, or things like this, I use a separate email account because with any company, you can't really guarantee because you don't know what their affiliates are that your email address is going to be kept in-house. So I prefer to have a separate email address where all of that email goes. And yes, I have to keep up, keep up with it, but it's pretty simple to just check once a day or once every other day and just kind of delete stuff I don't want. Um, something else I will say is sometimes the stuff you want goes to spam. So one of the other magazine sites I will show you, actually, it started going to spam first. And I kind of got screwed up because I didn't know it was going there. And I thought I wasn't getting anything. So I had to tell it not to send it to the spam folder. But point being, set up a separate email address if you don't have one for stuff like this. All right, so company, um, basically just try to do best guess. So I'm going to say about 1000 plus where I work. Um, industry, just none of those are actually my industry, so I'm going to say other. I like to choose consulting for job function. None of these actually really say what I am, so I just choose other function as well. 
consulting and then I just like to use um, either consultant or ITIS manager. I'm going to go with consultant and then I'm going to say continue. So here you see Food Network Magazine is checked and that's because that's the one I picked. But because this is for business publications, it gives you other ones as well that you can pick based on what it is you filled out for your um, for your company. You do not have to pick anymore if you don't want any more. I personally actually got these two already, Oracle Magazine and IT um, e-newsletter, just because that's my interest. And um, I do try to leave them for like businesses and companies and then so it says you can select more so it says you have up to six i don't want any more so i'm just gonna continue okay and so here it's just um get, it wants you to start a short little survey it's not invasive so like just do it so job function um none of these really match so i'm just gonna say other industry none of these match so other not listed for me Company, I know we have over 25,000 people in my company. Roles, approve, influence, recommend. I know I don't approve or influence, so I'm going to choose recommend. Additional offers, you do not have to click those, so don't. And then check out. And then basically when you get here, it wants you to put in your information, and then once you submit it, you'll get your magazine. I don't want this magazine, so I'm not going to do it. But that's pretty much it. So you're not going through this long, drawn out 800 screens. I'm exaggerating, but you know what I mean. Of having to fill out surveys just to get the Distinct Magazine. So that right there is um, kind of two things. So first, that's how Swagbucks can offer you um, this information. And then Mercury Magazine is the second one. So if you want to go straight to Mercury Magazine, you can just do MercuryMagazine.com. But most likely you're not going to see these types of magazines if you go straight there. So I would suggest going through some of the other sites. Um, if you do want to sign up for Swagbucks, then please go to the description below this video. And it would be awesome if you could use um, the link sent there because that's my referral link. So basically um, I would get points for things that you you get. So I mean, it's not required. My feelings would not be hurt if you don't. But it would just be awesome if you do decide because of this video to sign up to, with Swagbucks to use that link below. All right, so going on to the next one. Okay, actually, before we go to the next one, I do want to show you. So this is what the emails look like. So when you start getting the emails from Mercury Magazines, it'll tell you complimentary and it'll have a picture of the magazine, the name of it. And then um, a link to actually get it. And it has a deadline. So like this one here. I already get Harper's Bazaar. So I didn't use it. But I saved the email just to do this video. But basically it's telling me to respond by the 17th. Because quantities are limited. And I actually do believe this one did sell out really quickly. Um, but that's just how you continue to get it. And why you should make sure you're not your emails aren't going to spam. Otherwise you won't get these emails on time. And you might miss out. Okay, so now we're really going on to the next one. Okay, so the next one is freeflies.com. And I did a lot of research on this one before actually trying it out. And it's pretty legit as long as you don't get caught in the crap that's all around it. So basically, um, once again, the link is in the description. But if you go to freeflies.com, here are all the categories. And basically for magazines... It's usually under this other samples. Um, I'm doing future videos on how to get other free stuff, which I'll be exploring these other categories uh, and things I've gotten already. So um, definitely stay tuned for future videos on that. But so if you click on other samples, typically as you're looking down, like it has them listed here, you'd have to find where there is a magazine. So um I don't think I saw one anytime soon, but typically if you did see one, it's going to have a link to another site and it's going to be the Mercury Magazine or one of the other sites that I showed you. So that's just one of the places. And I will say a lot of these sites I'm showing you have the same ones. So typically if I found it here, it's also on, you know, the Swagbucks or it's also on the next one, which is my free product samples. So you're usually going to find kind of the same stuff across the board. So yes, yeah, so I don't think, I'm not seeing any, um, and I'm not about to sit here and go through this whole page. But if you did see it on here, it would be there, and you would click on it. 
and find it. So that was a quick one. Um, so going on to the next one. Okay, so the last kind of random site is myfreeproductsamples.com. Again, link at the bottom. And for this one, you'll find it under free samples. And there are a lot of categories here. Um, once again, I will show you in another video some of the free stuff that I've gotten. So stay tuned for that. So the category we're going under is free books and magazines. And so this one is just a laundry list of books and magazines that they have. And it's things that may interest you, some of that don't. So here we have the first one I see here that got posted May 25th, and that's free two-year magazine um, subscription to Esquire magazine. So basically, if I click on that one, it normally takes you just to the, the single page. And then if you want it, you would click on that. And if you look here, it's showing you all the other related posts. Um, some of those might be sold out already, but that's another way to kind of help see what else they have. But so if you click on that, it'll bring up, see, so this one took you to Mercury Magazines. So like I said, a lot of these sites are going to take you to one of these sites that you, we've already seen. So just the same thing I've shown earlier, you would fill out all your information. If the magazine is still available, you can get the magazine. All right, so now that those kind of random sites are out the way, I'm going to show you the direct sites um, because this one took you to Mercury Magazine, you kind of already saw that one, so um, I don't need to show you that one again. So the next one is Value Mags. So again, um, I've gotten magazines from this one as well. So as you can see, there are a bunch of different um, magazines that you can get. They have featured magazines, they have free magazines up here. So, um, you know, you just click see all and see what they have. And if so if you want one, like for instance, if you're getting married, you want a bridal guide, you would click on it. You would put in your email address. I'm not going to do that because I don't want it. But um, that's basically, let me go back. Yeah. So here it's saying this one issue subscription was purchased on your behalf by samplestorm.com. So this one tells you it's just one. Um, let's see what else they have. So family circle. This one says 12 issues. So enjoy 12 issues of Family Circle. Um, you never receive a bill. Um, and I will attest that so far I have not received a bill. And I actually have this one. Um, and it tells you here about what the subscription was purchased on behalf of you by. So that's another one. As you see down here, it is um, BBB accredited as well. Um, McAfee um, secure. Um, so Value Mag is a pretty good one. And this is another one where you'll get email. So every once in a while you get an email that says, hey, um, you know, do you want this one? If you want it, you get it. If you don't, then don't click it. So literally as I was talking, I remember I just got an email today um, with a Value Mag one, as you can see at 1231 today. So basically here's an example of one that they sent me. So basically it's yoga. And um, this is the magazine, and here it's telling me it's nine issues. Um, so if I want it, then I would just click Claim Now, and I would fill out the information, and I would get the magazine, and all will be grand. All right, so moving on to the next one. All right, so the next one is freebizmag.com. Um, even though it says tradepub.com, you can use that comment at the link in the bottom. So basically, this one has a lot of different magazines. Um, I typically tell people to go to the um feet i think featured let me see oh sorry up here special deals so special deals and that's where you're going to find usually the more name brand ones you want um, but here we have like bow hunting, if that's your thing, Ebony Magazine, I got that one coming, Parents, I don't have that one coming because I'm not a parent. Um, and it tells you one year, one year, one year, um, Predator Extreme, you know, White Tail Journal. So there really are, for all of these sites, they give you magazines for a, a whole range of different topics. So not just the ones that you saw me, those just the ones that interested me. So that's why I got them. But basically, you would just kind of, you know, if that's one you want, you would just click on it and then you would claim it. It's kind of the same thing as the Mercury Mag where you just fill out your industry, your company, your profession, and you may have to answer a couple of questions. Um, 
I would suggest if it doesn't require you to answer a question, don't answer it. So there are a lot of screens through these that you can skip without answering the question. So if you don't want to, don't. Otherwise, you'll be sitting forever. So that's just your decision, whether you want to give the information or not. Okay. So basically, that those are all of the kind of wider range ones. There's one last one that I want to show you rewardsurvey.com so basically when you join rewardsurvey.com you would fill out all the information to join over here um, I already have an account so I'm just gonna log in and basically you answer questions so if you there's like what there's like 38 questions but it literally takes like five minutes and you get points so every time you do this survey which once you do it you'll get another email so the email will say, hey, there's another survey available. And every time you do the survey, you get, quote unquote, $20 of rewards to go for to go against magazines. As you can see, I have $55 right now. I've definitely used them, I think, three or four times. But that's how much I personally have. And so basically what you would do is when you fill it out, so let me just fill the survey out real quick and then I'll be right back. Okay, so I finished filling it out. Um, I did it because I wanted to show you guys that I have now is 75. You saw it was 55. If you would have scrolled to the bottom, it would have it gave you the option to skip it and just redeem points. If I didn't want to get more reward points, I could have gone straight to my account to just see what I can get. So basically, if you look here, here are their categories. So basically, under $20, here are all the different magazines. So, um, you know, I get Essence, I get Shape. And I get women's health. But if I wanted any more of these, um, it tells you how many issues. So this one's five. That one's ten. Um, this one's an audio download. That's twelve. So it tells you. And then how many points you would use, or dollars, I should say, to get that magazine. And here's the $20 level. So Aficionado, Entertainment Weekly, um, Sports Illustrated Kids. Um, and look at this right here as well. It does say new subscribers only. So like if you got the 12 issues and you're in year two, and using the same account information, you're not going to be able to get it again. So um, if you really liked it, then just buy it. <laughs> um, Wine Spectator, I have that one. The $30 level, $50 level. And then it says see all rewards. If you click that, usually it just brings another category. So yeah, so no. So that's all there are. So what you would do is you would just, if you have the amount of points available, you would just click it. So I have $75, so I can pretty much get everything on here um, if I wanted it. But when I first started out, you know, I only had 20 the first time. So I, I started off with just, you know, the under $20 ones. But once you want it, um, you just, so let's say I want, I don't know, organic life, six issues. So if you want it, you just hit continue. And um, you see they're actually partnering with Mercury Magazine for that one. So basically, um, I would get that one and then I would pick out any of these that I want. If I don't want any more, I would just continue. And I will complete my contact information and then I would get the magazine. And I'm glad it said this because you see how it says digital edition. Um, some of these actually are in digital format so i put it in the description below for the ones that i get but um you know like i think taste of home i get digital um good housekeeping i get digital and there's one more that i get digital but some of these do have the options either it's only digital like this one right here or once you get the paper copy you can actually get the digital with it um, so you just have to, depending on the magazine that you get, figure out what comes with what. Um, and I'm fine with getting both for the ones that can get digital because I actually, I read the e-version and I give my mom the paper version to read. So, I mean, it just depends on what you want. So that is everything that I have um, on getting free magazines. I'm quite sure these aren't the only things out here. I just know these have worked for me and for the type of magazine that I like. So some of them may not work for you. You might not get the ones you want in the email. I will tell you that I decline more magazines in my email that I get 
then I accept them. So, you know, it, it doesn't, they don't profile you. So you don't constantly get the ones you like. I've gotten emails for yacht magazines and hunting and like, I don't yacht, I don't hunt. So I don't want any of those. So I just delete the email. You don't have to do anything with it. Just delete it. So I hope you guys found that helpful. Um, once again, if you want to subscribe to any of these, the, the links are down at the bottom of the video. If you want to subscribe to Swagbucks, go ahead and use my referral link. If you have any other ideas on things you want to see, just let leave a comment below and let me know. And if you like this video, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up and go ahead and subscribe to my channel. So that's how I get my free magazines. Thank you for watching, and if you liked this video or found it helpful, as I mentioned earlier, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel at the button at the bottom of this screen to get any future videos on how to get free products or samples like these. Talk to you in my next video.